today's video, I'm going to show you how I made over two pounds of spelled pasta using a pasta maker in under 20 minutes. If you'd like to see how I did it, keep watching. With this brand of pasta maker, everything is pretty basic. It comes with pre-measured cups for the flour and water and includes two programs based on your desired servings. Program one makes about 11 ounces and program two makes about 22 ounces. So here I'm measuring out two full containers of the spelt flour to double my batch. Next I'm powering up the machine and choosing option two for a double batch, which is 15 minutes. If you only want to do one batch, the processing time will be even shorter. After adding the flour, I'll replace the lid and start up the machine. It will automatically begin to rotate the flour. Next, I'll slowly add in spring water using the pre-measured cup that was provided. The machine will blend the water into the flour and will knead the dough automatically. In about three minutes, pasta will begin to extrude from the machine. And you'll need to be ready to cut it using the pasta cutting tool provided. I am using the spaghetti pasta shaping disc for our meal today. And here comes the spaghetti. Please bear with my camera. It was having one of those days today, but it will clear up in a moment, I promise. So one of the nice things about this pasta maker is that you can determine the length of pasta you desire and you won't have to break it up like we used to back in the day. This is perfect for the little ones. Now, as the batches come out, I find it helpful to toss the pasta in some extra spelt flour to prevent it from sticking together. The first batch I ever did didn't turn out so well, and this will save you the trouble if you decide to try this. You'll notice the pasta slowing down once the majority of dough has made its way through the machine. The processing times will vary based on the type of pasta program you choose and this pasta was completed in only 10 minutes. Here is all of my fresh pasta and I'm going to go ahead and cook it. You can also add some grapeseed oil to the water to prevent it from sticking together as it cooks. This pasta cooked pretty quickly since it's thin and it was only about five minutes. And there it is, fresh homemade pasta. And I'm happy to know each and every ingredient used to make it. So here is an example of a penne pasta attachment. And as you can see, you can vary the size of that. Here is the attachment for the lasagna. And I absolutely love this one because it makes a very wide noodle. And this last one is the fettuccine. So I finished off the rest of my dough making the fettuccine noodles. And again, you wanna keep those floured so that they do not stick together. And if you aren't cooking this right away and you just want to dry it out for later, this is the perfect way to dry it out. So here's my pasta haul. I made all of this pasta the day before. It is drying out in this photo and it is now ready and put away in my glass jars. So the next time I need pasta, I'll have it on hand. Okay, so I am serving my spelt spaghetti pasta with some of Thai's alkaline electric tomato sauce with veggies in it. Mm. Wow, 
This is really good, all homemade. If you decide to try this, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Mm. So good. It is. It really is. Mmm. Action. Hey, go, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to leave. Okay. Those fish don't like the bubbles. That's what it is. Okay, it's rolling, bruh. Hey, go, people. In today's video, I'm going to show you how. Okay, he's dancing in the background. Can you just. <laughs> he's, just. Just. Pause just it. Okay, I don't even know what happened.